We begin tonight in Clayburg County where the two people being held in connection with the double murder on Padre Island had their first court appearance this morning. Yep, Adam Curtis Williams and Amanda Novare appeared before a judge to hear the charges against them. So far, they are only charged with felony theft of a truck and RV camper belonging to the victims. Our Taylor Robinette is here now with the very latest on this top story. Taylor. Joe Leslie, Adam Williams and Amanda Novare went in front of District Judge Jack Poulter separately this morning where they were both given court appointed attorneys. Sheriff's deputies say Novare has since been transferred from Claiborne County to the San Patricio County Jail. Each are being held on a $1 million bond. Adam Curtis Williams and Amanda Novare were both in shackles and bulletproof vests when they entered the courtroom on Friday. Good morning, Mr. Williams. Just two days ago, they were apprehended by police in Jalisco, Mexico. That same day, Williams was extradited to Houston, then driven by the Clayburg County Sheriff to Kingsville. The next day, sheriff's deputies obtained a warrant for Novare's arrest, and she was also extradited and brought to Kingsville. This morning, both were read their Miranda rights in court. State your name. Adam Curtis Williams. Thank you, sir. You have been charged with theft as a third degree felony. You have a right to hire an attorney to represent you. You have the right to have an attorney present prior to and during any, any, any interview and question by peace officers. You have the right to remain silent. And both have extensive rap sheets in Utah. Williams faces several sexual abuse charges and Novare has assault, intoxication and disorderly conduct charges. According to an arrest warrant obtained by 3 News, Williams was pulled over by park rangers on October 13th in Claiborne County for not wearing a seatbelt. On social media, you asked us two questions. Why was Williams lit out of jail in Utah and why didn't park rangers see the warrants? Well, here's what we found out. Williams was released in Utah on a promise that he would appear in court, but he was a no-show. Claiborne County Sheriff Richard Kirkpatrick says park rangers didn't see Williams' warrants out of Utah because it's not protocol to check for warrants on a no seatbelt citation. We got a long road, as I mentioned earlier, and this case still requires a lot of investigation and we're going to move forward. So what's next? Williams and Novare will appear in court for their arraignment where neither have been charged with murder, but Clayburg County Sheriff's deputies are continuing their investigation into the deaths of the butlers. Joe Leslie. Taylor, thank you.